after a narcissistic person has discarded you or taken the devaluation to the point where they never quite come out of it. You may see a few different things happen. Let me know if any of these things are familiar and have happened to you when a narcissistic person has discarded you or devalued you. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after narcissistic people have been in it. So, okay, after the discard, a narcissistic person may no longer fake the empathy that they once pretended to have for you. They may seem aloof, indifferent, like they don't care, like they have no feelings, heartless and cold. A narcissist after a discard may also do something kind of opposite for a little while, which is increase the way that the empathy looks as if they're so concerned for your well-being after this horrible breakup that you've had with them and they may be basically hoovering you at the same time as they're discarding you and as soon as you don't fall for it or as soon as you call them on the behavior of why they're acting this way like love bombing you in the middle of a discard they will then flip to the cold indifferent not caring showing zero empathy person that they actually are after a discard a narcissist no longer cares what you think you see when you're with them they care what you think think in a way because they're trying to control what you think, right? Once you are no longer part of what they are trying to manipulate and manage for that moment, they no longer care what you think. Have you noticed how they turn all of your positive traits into negative attributes? Yeah, that's a thing that happens when a narcissistic person devalues, right? And then especially after a discard where they completely turn on you. They will turn all your positives into negative. It's really confusing, it's really painful. The fact that we have to have a video about how people act when a relationship ends should say something, right? It should say that there's a lot of people out there who are confused, hurt, conflicted, don't know what's going on, and struggling after these relationships. After a discard, it's really useful to try and get some support to get through this. Check out the information in the main description of every video. I have lots of links there. I have links for peer support if you need it, and there are links for coaching and group coaching. So here's some examples. They might have once claimed that you were smart or spoken of your intelligence or talked to you as if you were an intelligent person. Suddenly, they turn that into you being cunning, you being conniving, you being c controlling or calculating. So another example, if you're fun loving, if they like to talk about how fun loving you are and how, you know, you guys have such great fun together. And then after the discard, suddenly you're irresponsible. You're too much. You're attention seeking. You see where I'm going with this? They take everything that they once valued in the relationship and they devalue it. They devalue it to the point that it can no longer be brought back. Like if you were silly, suddenly you're really annoying. You know what I'm talking about. Something that was really common that happens is a narcissistic person will replace you. After a discard, they find new supply. It doesn't have to be in the form of a romantic relationship. Even narcissistic parents, when you leave them, when you go no contact with them or when you attempt to go low contact with them, they will pull in other people, whether it's another sibling, a cousin, a friend, a friend of yours, into the dynamic. They'd use this triangulation thing to get your attention, first of all, and second, place you so that they have a steady stream of supply. And now guess what? you're on the receiving end of a smear campaign, most likely. And then something else that could happen. Have you noticed how suddenly the narcissist gets really secretive after a discard where they're almost sneaky or stealthy and yet trying to make sure you still pay attention to them, but they don't quite let you know what's happening or what's going on. And I mean, frankly, we shouldn't care what's going on, right? But they, they do it in a way that like lures you into paying attention to them and then they're super sneaky and stealthy about it. So you guys, after a discard from a narcissist, don't expect it to feel like a normal breakup. Narcissistic people don't like to let go of the supply that they have. They don't like to let go of the attention. They don't like to lose. All right, and so the discard is really a phase of relationship for them. It isn't an ending, it's a phase of relationship. It may be never to speak to you again, right? But they still maintain the power if you still keep engaging in worrying about what's going on with them. 
For more information, be sure to watch the playlists on this channel for trauma bonding.